Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now, let's get right into today's topic, which is regarding XRP. So, we're going to talk about the next few months and how this can have an impact on XRP and the broader market. So, you know, thank you for all your support. Continue supporting, and you will see a continuation of these updates, very unbiased updates, you know, without those crazy price predictions. But if you're looking at this, um, shout out to Ali, you know, posted this. The same day XRP's golden cross is confirmed, there is a blue moon. So are we seeing a little bit of a correlation? Possibly. But anyhow, let's get right into it. Before I do that, as always, just a quick disclaimer. Anything on this channel is not financial advice. Always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto. So looking across the market, you're seeing a lot of green right now. So Monday did start off on a little bit of a negative note. Uh, except for XRP, of course, XRP is one of the few coins that actually has been going insane up 6.8% on the daily time frame. And, you know, something crazy just happened. And I will share that, you know, we'll briefly talk about the price at the end of the video. But you're looking at the price of XRP going up 6.8%. But pretty much the entire market has seen a little bit of a bounce right now due to Bitcoin's move because you can see Bitcoin is up 2.3%. But before we get into any further, as always, just a quick disclaimer, anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto so there's multiple reports going on regarding you know the Camilla Harris and um, you know what Camilla Harris has come out and said if she wins what she's going to do so you could see it says vice president Camilla Harris wins the presidential election in November if if you know she plans to nominate um, you know SEC so Security and Exchange Commission's chairman Gary Gensler as her Treasury Secretary and um, I'm sure no one uh, is unaware of who Mr. Gary Gensler really is. He does not like crypto, and I'm sure you guys know that. Um, and, you know, this has caused a little bit of a spark within, um, you know, the debate. And you see the debate on Twitter. You see the debate, um, you know, on the news. And again, at the end of the day, you know, everyone has their own opinion and we have to respect everyone's opinion. But, you know, this has caused some people to think that even though Camilla Harris did say, you know, she will support crypto, uh, not at the magnitude of Donald Trump, but, um, you know, due to her saying this might uh, have uh, some people rethinking, especially in the crypto camp. So you can see, despite crypto taking center stage in the 2024 U.S. presidential elections, the move by Camilla Harris is sure to raise eyebrows. The vice president voice support for crypto by hiring the anti-crypto Gensler is bound to bring trouble and that is the conversation that's taking place right now within the crypto space and you can see this for yourself what this means for Harris and crypto so Camilla Harris was slowly gaining um, you know ground in the elections with the poly market bets completely turning in her favor after reports of her understanding of crypto emerged crypto is still at the center of the election and the community is closely monitoring every step of the candidates take so pretty much like I said um, you know she did come out and talk in favor of crypto. And then, you know, that has other people, um, you know, thinking elsewise in terms of political standpoint. But, um, you know, we don't talk politics on this channel. On the other hand, you're looking at our good old friend, you know, Donald Trump coming and saying this back in May. The United States must not settle for anything but top place in the cryptocurrency industry. Uh, and that's according to the former U.S. President Donald Trump. Our country must be the leader in the field. There's no second place. I'm uh, very positive and open-minded to cryptocurrency companies and all things related to this new uh, industry, he claimed. And you can see, um, you know, he is pro-crypto and he has not been shy uh, of supporting crypto. He spoke at the Bitcoin 2024 conference and um, again, you know, crypto is at the center stage this time around because, of course, the ETF, you know, you're seeing institutional interest coming in. You know, people are excited and, um, you know, people want, uh, you know, crypto to be adopted. And you are seeing the adoption actually occurring right now. Uh, but, you know, this is going to be a very, very interesting thing to see over the course of the next few months. Um, obviously, everyone is keeping an eye out for November because November is when things will make sense. Again, I think it's going to be a huge sign or it's going to be a little bit of a, 
uh, you know, disappointment, depending on how you look at it. And like I said, I don't talk politics on this channel. But let me know your personal thoughts down below. November, um, you know, some analysts are saying, and again, this is obviously only time is going to double. Some analysts are saying, you know, the super cycle that a lot of people are talking about. And again, even at the beginning of the year, if you've been following the channel, I've been saying that, you know, we are not going to see a super cycle. But, you know, depending on how this goes, you know, we actually could end up seeing a super cycle for the crypto space. And that is going to be very interesting. But forget about, um, you know, the uh, uh, news about that. You know, want to talk about what's happening with XRP as well as Bitcoin. So Bitcoin was able to close its daily candle. Give it a round of applause above the 60K key resistance, as you can see. Very, very nice to see. You know, above 60K, this is exactly what you wanted XR, I'm sorry, Bitcoin to do. And on top of that, look at this, guys. Dominance index is starting to move back up. Just as we talked about, dominance index is picking up traction. Uh, but, you know, if you're looking at XRP, XRP has done exactly what I spoke to you guys about uh, earlier in the update that I brought you guys. You can see this for yourself. Again, this is the daily time frame. XRP was able to reclaim back above the key resistance. And not only was it obviously able to, um, you know, stay above the key resistance, we saw the daily candle close. We saw the daily candle close for XRP above this key resistance. And if you've been following my channel, you know, I don't focus on, you know, the crazy unrealistic price predictions. I focused on, you know, one specific thing, and that was this key resistance and how important it was and how, you know, we're actually seeing positive momentum for XRP. And not a lot of people were understanding that, but, you know, obviously the ones that did realize, you know, what we were noticing. And now you're going to see a lot of people picking, uh, you know, <laughs> pick an attraction towards XRP. So you can see this for yourself. Um, obviously, this daily candle is what you needed. You needed this daily candle for the price of XRP. And pretty much now, you know, the target that I have, personally speaking, for XRP is around the 64 to 65 cents mark. And I do believe if a Bitcoin continues to go towards the upside, you know, we could see about an 8% move for XRP. And right now, Bitcoin is moving as we speak. As of recording this update, Bitcoin is on the move and um, obviously the next next main target would be around the $61,000 which I think could come real fast but in order for me to get bullish again and again this is my personal confirmation that's still at $64,000 if we're able to cross that you know I think leading into September October we could see you know that upside that a lot of people are anticipating but right now uh, let's not get too excited of course you know Bitcoin is exactly where you want to see Bitcoin being at uh, but you know we still have some time to kind of you know get those confirmations that we're waiting for but yeah love to see this move from bitcoin and uh, especially with xrp as well you know xrp is pretty much sitting at 60 cents right now and obviously a lot of people want the price of xrp to start heading towards that dollar price point you know that is the conversation that takes place on a single day to daily basis but you know one step at a time as i've said to you guys before you know baby steps we did get past that key resistance which we were waiting for and that is nice to see now we move over to see what happens Happens. let's actually bring up xrp charts i don't know why we went to v chain there we go and let me give you guys the bigger so you know xrp is approaching 61 cents right now as i have refreshed this page you can see this for yourself the bigger picture obviously you know we need to get to this point in order for people to start talking about newer predictions i don't like how people throw crazy predictions out there that are just unrealistic so if you're new to the markets guys and you're looking at these hundred dollar price targets you're t looking at these five hundred dollar price targets i hate to say it if that you know boosted your confidence i hate to say it, that's just unrealistic and that's not possible in my opinion um but you know it does not mean that you know xrp cannot get to some crazy levels in the um you know future and upcoming years ahead of us but this bull cycle main target of course is to reach the previous all-time high and of course one step at a time but as of now you did see that daily candle close above this key resistance now my target is to get uh, the price of xrp uh, you know for it to go back into the 78.6 and that's where i think the excitement really gets in but um let me know down below what you guys think love each and every one of you guys we'll see you tomorrow good crypto zx and peace out